Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome to the channel. And uh, in today's video, we've got a bit of a bombshell when it comes to the matchmaker for World of Tanks and World of Tanks Blitz in general. Both of these games use the same encoding. And for a very long time, myself, my friend Batchat, who's with me today, thought that, uh, that the matchmaker was not necessarily good, but not really biased towards anybody. If you were a 70 percenter, you were just thrown into the mix and it tried to match the tanks accordingly. Although now that's definitely not the case. We're going to be breaking into uh, why that is, showing you a patent from Wargaming themselves. This information here is grabbed, as you can see at the top, from patents.google.com. I'll link the exact patent link in the description down below where you can check it yourself but this is official from wargaming and uh yeah this definitely exists in the game so what do you want to start off with the top one that should be fine honestly honestly i want you to go at your own pace and i'm still molding so <laughs> <laughs> i'll just i'll just mold when i get a chance to mold. all right so i'm just gonna start at the top and we're gonna make our way down this last one here everybody is the one that's really gonna make you feel sad inside and deflated like a wet balloon but let's start off at the top one according to other aspects each vehicle may be one of a standard vehicle and a premium vehicle where a first premium vehicle is associated with a lower range of battle levels than a standard vehicle of the same tier or type as the first premium vehicle now if you're wondering what the heck a battle level is we should probably break into that because i thought it was tier originally however now after reading a lot more and bat chat and i are probably only about one fifth of the way through the entire oh, yeah this yeah. this article is like it, it's like learning to read for the first we're time we're probably like a gonna find more like absolutely crucifying crap as we and, go and down we'll keep, we'll keep the content going <laughs> i plan on making a video myself on this but uh this yeah. is ridiculous yeah so, this so basically is, um, this is the one we yeah basically talk about. the battle level the battle level is like three different aspects of things so each so battle session is assigned a battle level. Each battle level is used to limit participating vehicles to predefined tiers that are included in the battle session, thereby providing a unique method of creating a balanced battle session in an MMO game. Yeah, right, Wargaming. As players progress and advance and experience the player or we should say tank. Or vehicle. Yeah. So the, or vehicle. the tank will gradually be moved into higher battle levels based on the experience. Based on these things. Yeah. And capabilities of a player. So basically to dumb it down, your battle level is how skilled you are. If you are, let's say, a 70%. And how, and how good your tank is yes. as well. So let's say you're a 70 percenter. You're going to have a really high battle level. So yeah. if you have in total 10 points to go from, if you're a really good player, let's say a 70 percenter, you'll get 7 points. And then if you're driving a really good tank, let's say like a 2-5 to you, it might fill in those final three points. The higher mm -hmm. the battle level you have, you're going to notice as we break into this list, the worse your matchmaking gets and uh, the game actually tries to screw you over. But we're going to start off with the top one again, which has to do with premium tanks and battle level. So mm -hmm. if we go back... Each vehicle may be of a standard vehicle and a premium vehicle, where a first premium vehicle is associated with a lower range of battle levels. Basically what that means is if you buy a premium, you are going to have better matchmaking. Just flat out, it says it right here. If you buy a premium, you have a better matchmaking because the lower your battle yep. level is, the better the matchmaking you get put into because you're fighting teams that are worse with other yep. lower battle levels. So basically... So you buy a premium, you have better matchmaking. It, it, so basically what it is, is it's three separate, from what I've read, it's three separate things. You have a personal player rating based on your skill. That's like your win rate. Let's yes. say your win rate's higher. Um, you'll get like a, if you're 70, you get a 7 out of 10 on your win rate. Then it's your tank's win rate. If your tank's win rate's higher, then that aspect yeah, it will probably go combines all like three a seven. of them. And then your tank has its own battle level. Let's say you're in a concept. Oh, we'll put concept in like a nine or a 10 out of 10, right? Um, as opposed to like the old Badger, which probably would have been like a four. Yeah, right? exactly. So if you were in the Badger, you were probably, and you were like 40%, you're more likely to get on a team that is going to win. Yes. Whereas if I am playing a Badger, just because of my own skill, the game is going to be harder. Yes, basically this game is in a sense pay to win. 
It's 100% this first top text is saying that if you spend money, you will have better matchmaking. That is very possibly why my Concept 1B has such a ridiculously high win rate compared to a lot of my other tier 10s is down to the very simple fact that the Concept might just have better matchmaking than my other yeah. tier 10s for my win rate. Uh, so that's that's it, just it just means stupid. that it just means that if a tank is supposed to be rated super high, like let's say for instance, you know, if, if there's like a tech tree tank that's like super OP, like the Yo, right? Yeah. The Yo is going to be rated a ten, whereas the concept is Might probably going to be an rated eight or a seven. An, an eight, yeah, yeah or a, no, a nine, <laughs> eight, seven. It's not going to be the max level, even yeah. though it's just as good as the Yo, even, maybe even better. Which is like, pretty dang dumb. But don't worry, it gets better. Variety of gameplay while experiencing both wins and losses, according to one aspect, a player may be placed randomly or sequentially into any suitable battle level. However, according to another aspect, players who have just acquired a new higher tier vehicle are encouraged by being placed into battle sessions near the lower boundary of that vehicle's accessibility range, which allows the player to feel more comfortable in the game with time the balancing system starts putting them into higher level battle sessions now we've known this this has been something that i've talked about on the channel before like for example when you buy a new premium tank let's say you buy the t77 for the first 10 or so games it's always weird how you get these easy wins you're always top tier yeah. how many times bat chat when you've bought a new tier let's say eight premium have you gotten your highest damage in the vehicle in your first 10 battles I was going to say, like, every vehicle that I have, like, bought and played the first 10 vehicles in, it, it, you, it, it's, it's somewhere between 8 and 10. You oh, yeah. always get top tier. Uh-huh. And, and then all and of a sudden, always incredibly it goes away. Games. Yeah, all of a sudden, that goes away. You instantly are, like, depending on how well you do as well, I've noticed, in that tank, it will increase oh, yeah, the yeah, likelihood it will change that that goes the, away faster. The drastic level of which your battle rating changes yeah. while so playing. So if, if, if you're doing really well... That means that it just kind of takes away that bonus early on because I, it's like, okay, he gets it, you know. He I gets remember it. when I, uh, I remember when I made a video on the Samwa and my first two games in the vehicle, I averaged like fifty six hundred, got two aces, called it an absolutely overpowered tank in the video. And then you and actually then, got to uh, play the Samwa. <laughs> and then about twenty games in, I realized that I hated the tank and it's not fun and it's not an amazing vehicle. But you know what? You know what I just realized. That makes it to where, like, the first few people, like YouTubers, oh, yeah. like, they'll play a couple games in the tank. And that means it's more likely that they're going to give a good glowing review of it. Oh, yeah, Wargaming, I, I don't doubt that Wargaming did that on purpose. I, I'm very confident they thought, hey, let's, uh, let's kind of inflate these YouTubers' opinions on these tanks so that they give them higher reviews for the first couple yeah. of games they play. So it's, it, it's, like, it, it's like a double-edged sword. Not only are you getting, like, a false idea of how the tank plays, but you're also... You're also getting people who are reviewing these tanks who maybe don't remember understand you that the tank uh, doesn't play as well. Remember I showed you that Quickie Baby Chieftain Proto or whatever video the other day? Yeah. He mm -hmm. made a video on it, I think, today or yesterday, where he showcased his highest game in it. It was his first battle in the tank. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you realize the implications <laughs> that this has? Oh, it's it's quite awful. But don't worry, It means worry, like everybody. every review, every review that people are doing that is below, That's like, why 50 battles is ever, pointless. Um, if you ever see it, like, I, I usually play, like, a lot of games in a tank before I'll make the review, which is, it's just dumb. Yeah, no, that's a good idea, because yeah. you get a feel for the tank. You get a feel for how the tank is supposed to be played in every type of battle. And I, the, the thing is, is it doesn't even say how long you get this influence. It just says, with time, the balancing system starts putting them into higher level battle sessions. So it yeah, could be which if, means you're if you're a 40%er, like, 100 yeah, if you're games. you're doing crap. <laughs> like, you could be there for, yeah you could be there for a long time yeah, in, the, in that preferential no bullshit clue. session oh my god don't worry though we got the last one which is by far the most gut-wrenching out of all the bunch so uh let's just get this straight into me. it according to another aspect the matchmaking server may store a win rate percentage for each player or tank or vehicle at a given yep. battle level as the player's win rate ratio decreases, the player becomes more likely to be placed in battles having battle levels at the lower end of the allowable range. Whereas the player's win rate increases, the player becomes more likely to be placed in battles having battle levels at the upper end of the allowable range. Thus, when a player has repeatedly been put into too many difficult battles, the balancing is done in favor of easier battle sessions. But what happens if you're a good player, guys? Gee... How about they do the opposite and throw you into terrible, terrible matches? So if you're performing well, 
if you're playing the game and winning the game, and you're consistently winning the game, then it's going to throw you in the in in the absolute pit of hell. Yes, and that that makes a lot of sense because now that I think about it, there are days when Flossy and I have been in platoon, and we have constantly gotten double mm double purple and then a double pramo platoon back to back to back we will literally sit and wait five minutes after getting a platoon of like 60 percenters just so we don't have to fight them and then specifically go up against the platoon even though we've waited five minutes yeah, because they can't they can't match the battle level yeah because war gaming is trying to throw them into the same game too. yeah yeah they have a high battle level too which means that it's putting them against you not because not because of the platoon but because of the battle level yes that's why it makes sense when you're sitting in queue and there's 45 vehicles like today. I was sitting in queue alone, 45 tier 10s. I was in a tier 10 medium and it took five minutes to load me into a game. I had won 10 battles in a row in my medium before that. It's literally searching for a way to screw you over. Yeah. No, and I've <laughs> joked about that. Like I've literally joked previously when in stream, like, oh boy, Wargaming's really going to give me a good battle here. Five minutes in queue. <laughs> like, oh my god. Now, now, so this also has implications for the rest of the player base because people are being put into easier games based on their win rate, based on the tank. And, they're and that means so that, that win rate is not an actual yeah. gauge. So, for example, no, if you're a 50 percenter, in reality, you're probably around 45 percent. If you're a 70 percenter, you're probably in reality about 80 percent because it's yeah. skewing. It's higher at the extremes. Yeah. It's higher at the extremes. This is... So what what this is basically saying is people who are playing these tanks at the lower end, the ones that are performing average to bad, are actually getting a bad sense of the tank. And the people who are playing at the higher end are also getting a bad sense of the tank because we think, oh, this tank can't even do that well because we're getting we're getting absolutely awful matchmaking, awful teams, but it's really not even our fault at that point. Oh, yeah. And then the people at the lower end, they're like, oh, this tank's not that bad. I'm yep. having good games with the tank. And it's because they're throwing you softballs. Yeah, they, they, for they're example, not even, they're not even... Uh, the other <laughs> week ago, I made a video on the Object 260. I called it the worst tier 10 heavy in the game. And it's a very simple reason why. It cannot carry in a losing situation. It does not have the armor or the capabilities that, for example, a 5A does, which the 5A still has very similar attributes, just better attributes than the 260. A lot of people in the comments are like, this is my number one performing tank. And I'm like, how is that physically possible? But... And it's because they're bad overall, but they're playing the tank in advantageous sessions. Yes. This is the... Proof. I mean, it's literally proof. It's written by Wargaming. It's in their patent. And it it literally only makes sense. This is the only reason that I can come up to why Wargaming has not changed the matchmaker in years. Why is it that that one game I remember playing on Dead Rail two days ago, my team had zero mediums. Their team had two tier 10 mediums. People have told me in the past that you can't get one team with zero mediums and one with two. Incorrect. So I think it's very clear that Wargaming is is literally trying to shove their foot up your butt to actually screw you over. It is trying so not to get... only, I just want to point out, not only is their coding, like, awful, right? Because they, they, they have made this session, right? They have made this matchmaker, so their coding is crap. They do not understand what makes a game enjoyable. But they also cannot even play their own game. I'm sure you remember seeing the devs play the game. Oh, yeah, so not awful. only do they not know how to balance their own game, they don't know how to balance their own tanks. They don't really know how to how to make this this game enjoyable either. Oh yeah. Th this game, it this is not only for just Blitz. This has ramifications for PC, Xbox. It has ramifications for the whole thing as an entirety. Mm -hmm. They are they have no idea how to make this game fun. And the the saddest thing about battle rating is a very simple way to understand how it really screws you over. Let's say you're in a platoon, you're two really good players. So you've got both battle ratings of 9 out of 10. Wargaming is going to match the enemy team with the same battle rating. Now, most of the time, there aren't players as good as Flossy and I. It's not egotistical. It's just that most players don't have 70% win rates. And... When you do that math, Wargaming normally doesn't have players that have that high of a win rate. So what they'll do instead is they'll get their whole team, 55 percenters, all with like a six of battle rating. And our whole team will be two because we'll be the yep. only players that have a good battle rating. 
And this yeah, is you'll be, why you'll be the only screwed. ones with tens. Yeah. You'll be the only ones with tens. And then in order to compensate for the other team having a whole bunch of fives, they'll give you like twos or threes. And as we said, this is uh, like one fifth of the document we've read so far. So I can't wait to see what other things we run into. It'll probably say your RNG when firing ammo is worse with a higher battle <laughs> level. I can't wait to see that one. You're more likely to be ammo racked if you've complained <laughs> recently. <laughs> Some dumb something like that. War gaming. This is huge. Like, if you guys aren't paying attention to this, then you're you really doing yourself a disservice. Game, honestly. Do not, do not, like, I do not want to hear anybody in stream or in comments anymore say, the matchmaker is not rigged. Because this is, this is it. This it, is the matchmaker yeah. being rigged. It, this it is, is the patent. And, and I should also point out that... For players saying the matchmaker is rigged, you also need to understand that it, it might not be rigged against you. This matchmaker is specifically rigged for players that are doing better at the game. So if you are, let's say, 55%, this won't affect you too much. You shouldn't actually worry too much about this affecting you. But as you get better at the game, it's going to press harder and harder. It's kind of like as you go deeper and deeper with the submarine and the pressure keeps coming in and eventually you're going to die. That's basically how this works. The higher the win rate you go, in reality, your graph is linear and it's going down and down and down until eventually you go too deep and your sub explodes from overpressure. That so there's like three tiers of it. There's like the, the first tier is like the 40 percenters who are actually getting to enjoy the game. Yeah, 40 percenters are getting easy, easy teams. Right. And they're just they're just losing because they're bad. bad. Yeah. <laughs> and they haven't actually experienced the challenge. They're losing so because reality, they're getting on my team. Like, they're more like 30%. These are the people who are more like 30% are yes. the, the, the 45 and below. Honestly, and then there's your that middle. makes sense. There's your middle. The people who are actually experiencing true randomness. The people who are like 48 to 56, right? Those people are experiencing true randomness. Yes. And Those people are the ones actually you, getting to play the game. As soon as you peak over 50... Or not 50, but probably like 50. 53, like 54. 59, 59 to probably whatever is the higher You'll start in 75. to notice a difference, definitely. You'll start to notice that the game is increasingly throwing worse And you should also you. keep in mind over that and over it and over. specifically tracks your experience in each vehicle, which means... And your win rate overall. Yeah. So it means that if you are doing really bad overall but you're doing really well in a specific tank, it's still going to give you a bad battle, or a good battle rating, in theory, making you have worse matchmaking. There you go. Yep. <laughs> so even if you're 45%, if you are if you are 70% in one tank, it's going to start throwing you bad games. If you're 70%, but you're 40% in a tank, it's still going to throw you bad games. I mean, you know, that makes a lot of sense now, because, you know, we used to say smashers always fight other <laughs> smashers. Uh, it's yeah. not technically the case because i've played a lot of games where smashers will be on one team and like a double tune and they won't be on the enemy team so what yep. the actual truth is is that the smasher is such an inflated tank on win rate and its battle rating is so high that the only way wargaming can balance a battle rating on one team most of the time is putting a smasher on the other team because for example the annihilator is not performing actually insane statistically and because of that you rarely see them balanced on each team but the smasher because it probably has such a high battle rating is being put on both teams yep oh my and you're God. seeing the top you're seeing like the top kind of vehicles in every session yep. being put on teams to balance stuff out because they have no other way to do it they don't want it's not a it's not a unique experience no. you're just getting the average of all of the, the crappy tanks that are out there so right. this is why uh, this is why the game has just been so unenjoyable because because the game is designed to make you not enjoy it. The better we you we sure get, do love lazy writing, lazy coding. The better you get at this game, the worse it is. It's not like COD, where the better you get at a game, you can still absolutely demolish newbies and then trash talk them. It's more like. You get demolished because your whole team is noobs. You have to yell at your own team, and you can't call anybody bad in the enemy team because in reality they're probably not. Oh, well. It's, it's ridiculous. This yeah. is why I complain about my team. This is why not, we complain about team. every team. I, the, I not, we, we never complain about enemy teams because the enemy team's always the one that wins. Yeah, they're <laughs> always the one that has <laughs> when the most we complain, average amount of We're not complaining that the enemy team beat us. <sighs> we're complaining that our team sucked so bad. Yeah, and our TVP, we got screwed over. Our TVP YOLO'd over Mines Hill and expected that that was going to go well. For all the people treating me like I was crazy talking about this stuff years ago, 
I've accepted the fact. I've just accepted the fact. Wargaming doesn't like their good players. They yeah, don't. They, they want to screw us over. That's all they want to do. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it so that if you buy premiums, you will basically just have better matchmaking for, like, worse players. Because they don't think of us as money bags because there's not nearly as many good players as bad players. So what they're doing is they're trying to make the game more enjoyable for people that don't understand this game and more specifically enjoyable in a vehicle like the Smasher so they can continuously buy premiums and then have better matchmaking in those premiums while still yep. being bad at the game but doing better in those tanks. They're, they're screwing us over while filling their own pockets. Yeah. It's so dumb. So uh, it's actually so dumb. Gaming, if you're watching this video, I hope that you feel really, really sad that somebody was smart enough to dig into your patent files, aka me, and you, uh, you might want to fix this. I'm gonna be real. This is not gonna look good. Now, I'm not. I will not let you guys live this down. Now, to be fair, <laughs> at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because all the forty percenters aren't gonna watch this video. Ninety-nine percent of the time I play battles, nobody recognizes me, and that makes sense now. It makes complete sense why nobody on my team ever recognizes me. And that's because the battle rating on them is so and low, on the enemy they've team never, does. ever, ever looked at YouTube to learn how to get better at this game. So it makes perfect sense. Every <sighs> single thing, it's like the jigsaw. It's like when you're, you're watching, uh, like, Indiana Jones, and he figures out where the tomb is of the... The raid, I don't know what the Tomb Raider stupid one is. Either way, <laughs> um, he basically figures out the final puzzle. That's what we're watching here. It is every single puzzle piece that has been screwing us over for years in this game, causing me literally brain cell lossage. This is why. This is why the game gets me so frustrated. At, well, at least I have an excuse. Tune, tune in next time where yeah. Bat goes and eggs Wargaming headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Bat Chat and I are going to scroll through the rest of this, probably shoot ourselves by tomorrow, Kurt Cobain ourselves. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's uh, video. And well, hopefully you didn't, I didn't enjoy today's video. Let me <laughs> fix that. Uh, if you didn't enjoy this, make sure to click that subscribe button so you can not enjoy more content like this and probably tomorrow as well because I'll have <laughs> more on this either way. Wargaming, you should uh, you should feel pretty sad. I mean, to be fair, I give Wargaming credit. They're probably laughing because it's been eight yeah. years before. They're like, they're like, they figured it out. I don't get how nobody yeah. else has seen this. Like, this picture here I found online. But there's not a single YouTube video. Like, when I Googled RNG rigged, not a single video showcased this. That's, that's pretty bad that a Blitz YouTuber found this. Quickie baby or, like, I don't know the PC guys. They should have found this. Yeah, like I said, this has ramifications for the entire community, yep. not just Blitz. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, poob. Yep.